everybody, Chris Schaefer and Potsky Adairs. We're coming to you only miles from Yellowstone National Park here in Hepkin Lake, right here, only about 15 miles, 20 miles maybe so, away from West Yellowstone. We're gonna come show you a place that doesn't get a lot of fishing pressure, that offers some of the best ice fishing in the entire Rocky Mountain area. Now, we're gonna go after rainbows and browns today. Word has it where we're fishing is mostly rainbows. However, we may get a chance of catching a brown. We're gonna show you how to catch fish, just like we are here today, right on the edge of Yellowstone National Park. It's on. I mean, he, he hit it on the way down. I didn't even manage to get it out of the... Uh... Ooh, boy. I mean, just on the drop. We're fishing in 60 feet of water, and uh, I, I couldn't even get it down to where I wanted it. I mean, he hit it in about 20 feet of water. Ooh. He's fighting pretty good. We got a double. Up. I'm afraid to turn the camera because Mitch <laughs> thinks this is a good one, but Chris has got one behind us too. I haven't seen him yet anyways. You can see he's on right there, but we're going to film Mitch until he gets this one up. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Sounds like he's close. You see him? Yeah, I just got a pretty good, a decent little glimpse. He's sure lively. I had two fish on on the drop. Missed the first one, and then this one just slammed it so I can sit on him. He's rolling a lot. Just absolutely slammed this rainbow. We were, we were trying to get down into about 20, 25 feet of water, and I couldn't even get to the bottom, and I had three fish hit it, and this was the one that was on the end. Oh, yeah. This fish. Oh. Another rainbow. Yep, another rainbow. Now check out the colors on that one versus the one Mitch just caught. Yeah, so that one is a male over there. That's why it's so brightly colored. See the difference here. Yeah. Yep. Whew. Is it a good one? Yes. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. Nice rainbow. It's as big as your boot. Wow. It's bigger than my boot. Wow. Another beautiful representation of a Hebgen Lake uh, beautiful rainbow trout. This is the bigger, on the bigger end of the size that you could expect to catch on this lake. Fireball comes through again. Oh, big fish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Another beautiful rainbow and on Hebgen Lake. I've caught 15 of these today on the fireball and I'm gonna send them back down to his home. Another beautiful rainbow to be caught another day. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Big Sky Country where we're on Hebgen Lake going after rainbow and brown trout today through the ice. Now ice tends to start here sometime either in late November, it could happen in December, you know, but they have an excellent ice fishing season here. Only 20 minutes from West Yellowstone and Yellowstone National Park. Now, this lake, we're told, basically brings anglers in from all over the place because of its fabulous fishing. You know, from Billings, you're looking at four hours. From other places in Montana, like Bozeman, you're looking at two hours. If you're from a place like Boise, you're looking at six hours. Salt Lake, five hours. People come from all over Big Sky Country to fish here. Why? because there is an excellent population of mostly rainbow and a lot of beautiful brown trout as well. Now, the state of Montana ceased stocking here several years ago. Fortunately, it hasn't affected the fishery so far, and we came out here today and experienced that first ten. Now, you'll see these rainbows are some of the most beautiful rainbows, but sometimes that's even overshadowed by the phenomenal scenery you have every time you turn your head. It doesn't matter which direction you look, there is beautiful snow-capped mountains every which way. And you'll see that the Madison River comes in and out of this reservoir. Now, during the winter, you may not see that as well, but you know what? Just know that you have clear, cool, beautiful water coming in and out of this reservoir that brings in a great population of rainbow trout. Now, we came here today kind of by accident. You know, we were out here for the Montana State quarterfinal game this year. We wanted to enjoy a little college football. And then we called Chris Swenson of Terra Nova Cabins and we said, hey, we're in town. 
We're staying in Big Sky. Would you mind if we came down and just did a little fishing with you? We'll bring the bait, we'll bring the scent. You just take us to where the good trout are and we're gonna see if we can have a great day. Well, sure enough, Chris seems to know where all these fish are and we had a heck of a time fishing with him. Now we got to the lake about nine o'clock. We left about 12.30 and I would say we caught about, oh, close to two dozen trout. Now all of them were rainbows, but that didn't matter to us. They were all beautiful fish. We kept a couple for the grill and we released all of the rest of them. Now, we used two baits today. Uh, we found a little bit of a, a, Chris loves this little crawdad looking jig. It's a little tiny jig, uh, plastic. And Chris is big on anise scent. You know, he told if you're gonna bring anything, it better have anise in it. I love anise. Now, we came out here and we basically tipped it with Potsky's new chartreuse anise fireballs. He had never seen them before and he used them on every single drop. Now, funny thing, he said to me at the end of the trip, you're not gonna believe this, I've been fishing here for decades. This is the best overall day we've ever had. You know what, we'd like to think that those fireballs had something to do with that. The scent is super strong. It's an attractor, no different than, Chris is a big fan of Atlas Mikes. He uses their Anise Lunker Lotion and he put that on every one of his jigs today. Now, we used one more setup as well. The other setup was, hey, it's below the ice, it's low light, let's give the trout something else to look at. So what do we do? We took pink shrimp Potsky Fireballs and we added a little bit of Atlas Mike's Glow Shrimp Lunker Lotion on there and put it down in the water. Why not? Great smell, a little bit of visual down there, and sure enough, both of these offerings brought us in the zone today and put us on some beautiful trout in one of the best places you can ice fish near Yellowstone. Now, if you want to stay and fish right in this area, there's no better place to stay than Terra Nova cabins, especially in the winter, because everything else around here seems to be closed. You want to have to drive all the way to West Yellowstone, you're looking at one mile from the dam where you're going to be fishing. Beautiful cabins, excellent cell phone service. We didn't stay here, but if we came back after seeing the cabins, this would be where we stay. Beautiful place to stay, winter specials. What more could you ask for? Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.